Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is an exciting video that's been uh, in the works, sort of, for a very, very long time, or in the process of being created. Uh, as many of you know, we sell Lego on Bricklink. If you didn't know that, welcome. We sell Lego on Bricklink. Anyway, uh, very until very recently, we sold mostly new parts. So you come to a drawer, all those pieces inside there are brand new. They come out of brand new sets that we part out and stuff. But finally, we are getting into doing used Lego pieces and starting to sort out used, you know, lots of tons of Lego and uh, clean it and all that kind of fun stuff. So this video is going to be showing you guys kind of our process, just the basic process of uh, as we're doing it or as we're figuring it out, how we're doing it, because this is kind of our first time doing used and uh, it's a little bit of a new process for us. Um, so first we clean the Lego and then we uh, sort the Lego or more accurately, we send it off to someone to get sorted. Then when it comes back, we catalog all the pieces, figure out what it is, create a file for it. And then uh, at the end of the day, it'll end up getting uploaded into a drawer on the wall. So uh, we're going to go through that process today, uh, beginning with cleaning or uh, even I guess we could begin with sourcing the used Lego. So this is what it looks like, uh, at least right now, in this case, when we get uh, used Lego from someone that we purchased it from. So in this case, this was some kid. Uh, he was selling his whole collection. And uh, this bin was full at one point. I've since uh, emptied it out and cleaned a lot of it. But in this case, you can see there's a variety, large variety of pieces here. And you can see if you look at this white piece, it's quite dirty. So with all this Lego that we have here, this, you know, uh, this was full. I, I want to say this was probably about 40 to 50 pounds of Lego in this bin. Um, uh, but now that it's all, you know, here, we need to actually clean it up. So a lot of it, like I just showed you, is dirty, dusty, whatever it might be. So we're gonna clean this before we give it to our sorter, just so they're not touching all this, you know, disgusting, dirty used Lego. And this is how we clean it. So we have these uh, laundry bags. These are like for delicate items and stuff that you would put usually in the washing machine. But in this case, we're putting Lego inside of them. And there's a few ways you can wash Lego. Some people put it in the washing machine on, I think, delicate or no spin setting or something like that. In my case, I personally prefer to fill up the sink. So I'll fill up, I'll plug the bottom, fill up the sink with some warm, sudsy water. Not super hot, but also I try to get it warm. I don't know if that helps or not. And then uh, once they're in here, I just wiggle them around after they're full of water. And I'll let it soak for probably maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, and totally shake it up and move it around and stuff just so... You know, hopefully, in theory, most of that dirt can come off. Now, the water in here is usually pretty brown after, uh, like, visibly brown. You definitely see the dirt come off, at least in this case, with these pieces that we got from this person. I don't know that every lot's going to be that way. Uh, but these bags are fantastic. And then once they're in here, we, uh, we shake them off and stuff. We uh, actually put it in a salad spinner to spin off the water. And then we lay it out on a, uh, a paper, or not a paper towel, but a big towel on the table. And we let it dry for about, I'd say, maybe up to 24 hours or so before the pieces are dry. And then we put them in this bin, which looks very similar to the first bin. Um, but in this case, this one is all used Lego. So if I get a little, or sorry, clean used Lego. So if I get a little closer, you can kind of see, you know, there's a little less dust and dirt on these. Some of them are gonna be dirty. There's, a, you know, you'd have to scrape it off and certain things like that. We just end up won't selling or won't end up selling. But in this case, this is all the, the clean used Lego. Now, this bin here will probably hold up to about 50 pounds as well. In this case, there's only about uh, 20, I think there's 20 pounds in there right now. Um, but after this is all full, this will go out to a contractor. And then the contractor actually sorts each of these pieces into different categories. So they get paid per pound. And for example, this is a plate. So this would go into a large plate category. This would probably go into a smaller plate category um, because it goes, you know, it's a little different. But yeah, we sort all the pieces or the contractor sorts all the pieces. And then they come back to us all sorted in bags like this. So they're all sorted here in different bags. And this is sorted by category. So for example, this one's number 14, which is large slopes. So you can see there, for the most part, are slopes in there that are on larger pieces. So not like one by slopes, but, well, I guess I see a few in there, but uh, mostly like two by and bigger slopes or one by two plus. These aren't like the cheese plate type slopes and stuff that are in um, another bag in here in a separate category, which is actually right here. So this is small slopes and then there's large slopes. So once they get categorized like this, then we get to go through the fun process of figuring out what each of these pieces is. Um, and I'll bring you over there to show you that in just a second. So this is the cataloging process. So what we've done is we've taken one of the categories, in this case it was one by tiles, and we've laid them all out. And you can see they're sorted by what piece they are, and then they're also sorted by different colors. 
So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a program called Brick Store, which is what this is here. If you've used Brick Stock in the past, very similar. Uh, there'll be a tutorial coming out on a basic use of that, but I'll put a link in the description below as well. That'll have um, a download link to that if you want. But essentially this is a spreadsheet software and you can add different pieces in different colors to that spreadsheet. And then you can do a mass upload to BrickLink instead of having to go to BrickLink itself and typing in one by two white plate, putting all the information in and stuff. It's a little bit quicker in my opinion, at least. Some people would argue against that, but a little bit quicker to make a big spreadsheet and upload it all at once. Um, so yeah, now we do, like I said, sorting all these out. Um, in this case for tiles, we have to determine whether or not, for especially one by two tiles, if there's a, a groove or not on the bottom. Most of these I think do have grooves, but we're gonna make the spreadsheet then after this. Um, and once the item gets added to the spreadsheet, Paul's working on it over here, they get bagged. Now this is not a permanent bagging. This is only as we are uh, categorizing each of these pieces. We put them in a bag and then we put them aside like this. That's just to keep them all sorted. Once they're done, or once the category is done and we want to upload them, we'll assign remarks to each of the pieces in the program and then we can actually upload it and then they will leave the bags and they'll actually go into the drawers and then we can reuse the bags uh, either to ship with or to do the same idea with. Eventually, this will get contracted out to people, but in the moment, um, we're only paying people to sort for us and then we're doing the cataloging. Um, but this is something that will also get sent out to other people uh, who are contractors that work for us that uh, will do this task. So all we have to do is actually upload the pieces at the end. And then obviously once the pieces have been put in a drawer and uploaded into the inventory, we can actually put them on the wall where they will live until a buyer buys them. And that's essentially how we sort and sell our used pieces. Now, we've only been selling used uh, or strictly focusing on selling used pieces for about a week now. And uh, the results are pretty good. About 20% of all the lots that we've sold over the past week have been used pieces. So they're definitely getting more sales in our store. Now, it's hard at the moment to determine if used is gonna be a way we wanna go 100% or continue with both new and used pieces. At the moment, we don't have enough data to say that, but hopefully for any of you who are maybe wondering how we're doing used or how we were starting to do used, this kind of clarified and answered any questions you may have. Uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, a thumbs up is also, is always really appreciated appreciated. And if you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button. I know a lot of you who are watching are not subscribed. So hopefully you can click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in joining our Patreon page or our Discord chat, you can do that down below in the description. There are links for both of those. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.